currents in a transistor, you know how we get this equation, IE collector current equals to, uh, sorry, emitter current equals to collector current plus IB. So again, if you look at this over here, uh, this graphic, it's an NPN transistor. Here is your emitter terminal, here is your base, uh, and here is your collector terminal. If you look at the polarity here, and then the polarity over here, again, remember the current travels in a direction of positive to negative like this, and then here positive to negative. The current that's flowing here is IC, okay? Uh, and then this current flowing here is IB, okay? So these two currents then merge together and they add up to IE. So that's where we got this uh, equation right here. IE equals to IC plus IB. We're simply applying KCL here. Uh, another thing, uh, the collector current is comprised of two currents. Uh, one is the IC majority and IC uh, minority. Uh, what, what that means is basically uh, you have uh, some current flowing from here too, okay? We also sometimes refer to it as a ICE minority, okay? Which is kind of like a, what, what you have over here. And then IC majority is basically because this is the end type material, so you got a lot of electrons, um, a lot of electrons here. And because you got plus here, so you got plus here, right? Uh, up, different charges um, opposite, they are going to be, a, repel so these electrons will rush to the left they don't they don't want to stay over here at in the p-type material the reason they don't want to stay here is because this area is very very small uh, they don't they cannot there's not enough space to allocate themselves so they rush to the this region over here and this is where they are they it's this region is uh, bigger in size uh, it's highly doped so they can move around freely and if I just connect to a wire all these electrons over here, they'll just go past this wire and I can have my load over here. So say I can connect a bulb and that bulb will light up, okay? Uh, 